I'm William Richardson reporting from inside Gampa Pavilion where the UConn men's basketball team just faced off against UNH. This game wasn't really as close as the scoreboard suggested. UConn won this game by a final score of 85 to 66. And basically, UConn had two 20 point scores in this game. Sterling Gibbs led all scores in this game. He had 21 points. Rodney Purvis, he had 20 as well. Both players had five main three pointers in this game. So it was a great game for UConn shooting the three pointer. Post game, we were able to talk to Coach Kevin Ollie along with players Rodney Purvis, Sterling Gibbs. And Daniel Hamilton, so let's go ahead and check that out. <laughs> like that. <laughs> nah, I don't want to get in no shootouts with Sterling. I'm, I ain't gonna win those, but uh, I was able to uh, hit a couple shots. You know, at the end of the day, that's what it's about hitting a couple shots and uh, hopefully loosen up the zone a little bit. And uh, I think that's what we did in the second half. And, uh, guys like Daniel and Sean was able to make plays in the four hole. Um, it's, it's, it's a little tough, but at the same time, like it, once I started hitting shots, the defense kind of started keying on me a little bit. And I was able to make some plays for um, some some of my other teammates. And Rodney was able to get going. Daniel was able to get going. And uh, Amita was able to get going. So we were able to get other players going, which was good. Is the passing something you can work on, or is that just kind of with the flow of the game? I think it come natural. I think I could be able to make go out there and just make plays. If I don't have a shot, I uh, look for my teammates. and. Um, Look for him on a fast break and in the zone, and I think it's just there. I think I've just been at it. Were you guys expecting them to play that much zone tonight? Actually, we didn't know they were going to play zone at all, so when they came out there with a zone, it uh, kind of surprised us, but, you know, with us having great guards, being able to knock down shots, it really helped us out a lot. This is the time of the year I'm trying to, you know, see what I have. And, you know, I'm coaching that way. And, you know, when we go to uh, play Furman and then we go to the Battle of Atlantis, um, the competition is going to keep getting better and better. Um, so, you know, we just got to continue playing. And, you know, I want to play a lot of guys now. Coach, talk about how quick they've gotten comfortable with each other. Gibbs looks as if he's been playing with all these guys for five years and he's just been here a couple months. Yeah, they're just sharing the basketball. Um, I think that's the key. They trust in each other. Um, we put on a board, trust the process, don't rush the process, and I think they're allowing it where I'm not trying to just rush it and get baskets. They really trust in each other, and they pass into the open man with a UConn jersey on. So you heard what the players and Coach Ali had to say, some interesting stats from the game. UConn was able to shoot 52% from the field, 75% from the free throw line, both stats that Coach Kevin Ali is happy with. UConn's next game will be on Saturday where they face Furman right here at back at Gamble Pavilion. I'm William Richardson, and this is UC Sports.